Hello everyone and welcome back to my transgalactic trek in Elite Dangerous and it looks like we are no longer near the the ringed planet that I left us at. Uh, this is the next day after uh, my previous episode so I've been away from the game for a whole day just left my ship adrift. I'm sort of surprised that my fuel hasn't run out more than it has. It says it consumes 0.22 per hour and at that rate I was expecting to be pretty close to the bottom end of the fuel tank but perhaps a server reset I know that uh, given prior experience when the server resets uh, it dumps me in a random location in between places and I think that's probably what's happened well, that's an interesting start uh, let's see where is the this is the system that I had been around wasn't it I mean the the Saturn-like planet with all the stuff around it. Okay, so so that's that. All right, that makes sense. I think we've discovered what we need to discover around here. So since we are still fueled up, I guess I'll. Uh, my original intention was to immediately go for fuel, but it doesn't look like we need to do that. So let's just proceed with the next location. And so we are now pretty close to 500 light years in. I think uh, this this spot looks like a good place. Let's go for this star. Oh, it shouldn't take that much. Oh, we're back to we're back to economic routes. Let's not have economic routes. We can do this one direct. Wait, wait. There's this one. It's an A3. That's much better. But it looks like it's farther away than I think it is. Well, no, forty. Let's aim for it. Uh, a class you don't get every day. And I want to get to a B class this time in this episode. So let's aim for this A class just as uh, for starters. And then I'm going to try and hunt for a B class. Uh, B class would be bright blue in this sort of scale, but uh, in reality they're more whitish blue, I think. Okay, anyway, let's go for uh, this star, which we should know uh, some interesting... Well, it will be an interesting sight. Okay, so... Here we go. Get us moving. And this system is just an uh, in-between system. Let's go. Okay, so quickly let's do. Come on, show me it's unknown. There we go. Let's quickly do our discovery thing. Ah, okay, well, this is gonna be a little bit more complicated. Alright. Ah, oh, it looks like a full system. There's definitely some planets, those are not all belt clusters or maybe they are wow lots of belt clusters well two two sequences of them all right well uh, let me get to work on those and I'll be back with you once I have covered all the exploration stuff hmm I think I got too close to the star our heat situation is pretty intense right now managed to do some impromptu fuel scooping but hope I didn't damage too much Okay, I have this system covered, at least the uh, belt clusters that I was able to detect quite easily. Let's just move on to the next thing. Next star on our way to that uh, A-type one. Okay. Clearly not an A-type itself. What type are you? Okay, one companion. Okay, K-type. And what sort of companion is this? Looks like a planet of some sort. Okay, Anarchy, obviously. 
fairly decently sized, no moons around. And what does it look like? Still don't know what these rings that it draws around it are. You're just helping me to pinpoint it for all I know. It's one of those yellow ones. Okay, I've seen enough of these guys. So let's head to our target A type star. Now, I was wondering. Oh, I, I, let me deflect a little bit further away from this thing. I was wondering whether we could filter by stellar type in the navigation menu. Population. I don't think population is really going to help me. Trade routes aren't going to help me. Options. Star names. Yeah, I, I want all of that. But yeah, just uh, an option to filter by star type would sort of be important. Well, they're all going to be anarchy. Uh, so, that's no point. Hipparchus 88615. Looks like a negative uh, 100 by 4 by 600 or so. Okay, we'll head for that one. Okay, but first the A-type. Okay, hot, hot star. I'm not a really highly populated A-type star. This one's got one thing around it. Let's see, system map. No, doesn't seem like it has much. All right, well, let's uh, head for its companion, at least. And this should be another little rocky planet, probably. Still haven't found a uh, gas giant. I've found stars nearby other stars, obviously. Seen plenty of those. But a really close in Jupiter with, like, a period of a couple of minutes? You know, nothing like that. Even this thing that we're headed for now will have a fairly long period. It's uh, about six light minutes away, so what, somewhat like Venus? Eh, it's a smallish planet. Let's take a look if it might be interesting looking from up close, but I doubt it. Sort of got a Mars ish look to it. Okay. So now, as planned, I want to plot for the general direction of that B-type star. It's probably not the most powerful B-type star around, but it's the first one we'd be getting to. So let's see, it was at around 4-ish. That's pretty straight in our direction. Okay, let's head to this B-92 sector. Exactly what that means, but different sector is always good. Okay, forward. Oh, we're going back to COL three five nine sector though. Hold on. But then again, from here, it looks like we don't have much of a choice. There's some pipe bowl, but uh, other than that, it's a lot of COL three five nine. Let's just get through that part, I guess. All right, here we go. Friendship drive charging. Three, two, one, and... Nope, 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 come on. Bit of a delay there. Okay, tell me what this is all about. Is a busy sector too. What kind of busy is it? I don't want to scan a bunch of belt sec uh, belt clusters. Oh, well, there's a planet there. Hmm. So which one of you is probably the planet? Uh, probably this one. Let's. Nope, that's a belt cluster. 
Alright, that looks like it's the planet. Okay, let's head to you. Oh, don't even have to head to you. You're close enough. In fact, that, that makes me interested. I'll pass by. Still a rocky, small rocky planet. Haven't really hit upon those really ridiculous super giant planets either. Yep, pretty typical looking thing. Okay, next system. So I'll, I'll forego exploring all of these guys because I've got places to go. Star systems to see. Okay, you look like a fairly mild star. I'm probably going to want to refuel at you. Okay, just a K-type star. Basic discovery scanner pulse. Nothing here. Oh, nope, something here. Took a little bit of time. Okay, we're done with the fuel scooping. Now let's see which ones of these might be planets. Well, that's an asteroid bunch. Alright. Let's take a look. How about this one? Nope. Nope. Oh, that's a planet. Okay, let's go for that one. Uh. Oh, that's a bit close, isn't it? Oh, no, we don't have to move. We just have to turn and scan. If it's bigger than 5,000 kilometers, I'll, I'll head towards it and take a closer look. Otherwise, I'll just let it be. Nope, it's a tiny little thing. Sort of a Mercury sort of thing. Alright, how about you? Oh, it's right next to it. Okay, well that does make that interest. I guess they're a binary pair of some sort. Um, nah, it's not that interesting though if they're both tiny. Yeah, okay, both tiny. And how about the fertile ones? Uh, okay, about Earth size-ish. Let's take a look if it looks habitable bit blue I haven't seen a purple planet yet I'd like to know what sort of an excuse we could get for a purple planet existing Also, I haven't seen a vivid green one. But I haven't seen one quite like this either. This looks very cloudy. Very cloudy indeed. Might be something interesting down there. Alright, well, let's head to... I guess this is the other planet? No, that looks like a bunch of asteroids again, right? Yeah. Oh, that's because it's closer in, right. There's the planet. Oh, this one's pretty big. Bigger than Earth. Uh, blue and green. I think this is our second Earth-like planet discovered. Green, so... Some sort of vegetation. Do you suppose all planets that have water will have vegetation on it, or are we gotta get some that have water but no green, just desert sort of land? I haven't seen one of those. Okay. So we've left some belt clusters unexplored, that's fine. Where are we headed to next? So we are now 560 light years in. Is this. That's an F-type. Where is our 
target. Oh, we can target it now. Uh, yes. Uh, yep. Okay, that's pretty much a straight line to it. That's excellent. We'll leave this Earth-like planet behind. Wondering what kind of plants there are down there and maybe if there's any other life. Or maybe there's something else that causes it to be green, I don't know. I assume green means life. 25.3 light years must be like at the limit of our capabilities right now. Okay, let's quickly scan this one. Okay, nothing around. Let's check the system map just to be sure. It's just a K-type star. Oh, come on. It's got one companion somewhere. Well, I'm now impatient to get to my target, and I know that that one companion is not going to be anywhere nearby. So let me just go to my destination, and hopefully there'll be something around this B-type star that'll be worth worth lingering about on. Oh, 24.9 light years. Wow, we're really taking chunks out of our fuel here. Okay, and yeah, it's blue-white. This is more like what I'd expect the actual color of a B-type star to be, even though they made it really dark blue on the map. Let's get a little pulse out. Okay, two, two other objects, that's good. B, blue, white, and let's check the system map just to get a complete picture of things. Come on. Okay, so that's our B. Okay, that, that no, that's our B, and it's got two planets near it. Oh, WASD. Well, I really didn't expect to be using WASD here, but okay. So that's a class A right there, class F. They're all pretty top-notch stars. No little red dwarves or anything. Okay, let's try and hunt for... well, let's go to the plants first and hunt for the stars. Uh, this one's pretty darn close to the star. Let me go to the further one out first so that we get away from the star and we don't have to worry about heat so much. I'll probably, if we can find the K-type star, I'll probably refuel around that one instead of picking the hottest available star. From the system map it looked like just another rocky planet. Smallish. Uh, it's actually a reasonable size. Spot passed by it since I didn't seem to get the right picture of it. Very bright. one of those bright yellow ones. Okay. Okay, this one's even smaller than the other one, and it looks about the same, actually. Okay, there's some mysterious signal source, which is probably something that will want to interdict me at some point. Um... Let me try and find interesting looking candidate stars too. Those two look darned interesting right there. Let me keep those in mind. That's pretty bright.
I'd say there's nothing else quite so obvious as those two. I think that white one might be the A type and the yellow one might be the F type. Okay, so this is probably going to be a long trip. Is our unidentified signal source well, not hanging around? Okay, good. So I'll catch up with you once I get closer to whatever these are. Hopefully they are two of the other stars in the system. Okay, we're slowing down now, so we're definitely headed for the right targets. Always a little bit worried about that. There are so many stars in the sky, and just picking the brightest ones that happen to be in the same plane as the rest of the system isn't necessarily the, the brightest thing, but... Uh, it looks like it's working this time. Well, the other star seems to be really drifting away now. I'll have to keep an eye on it so that we don't uh, lose it. I'll be wanting to head to it next. I hope this is the A-type, but it might be the F-type, and that one that's drifting off might be the K-type. Obviously the A-type is the priority. But the A-type should have been fairly close to our B-type star according to the system map. With the other two a little bit further off. Maybe we should be close enough to get a scan on it. No? Try again. Oh, it's getting pretty bright. So hard to miss it. Finally, okay. Probably F type. Uh, yep, F type. Uh, okay, uh, let's not go any faster in that direction. Uh, oh darn, I lost my orientation. Is that the one I want to look, go head for? Uh, hold on. Yep, I believe that's the one. Yep, no doubt about it. Okay, I think hopefully we're close enough now. Yep. And for this one, I want to do some fuel scooping, so... Come on, should be picking up some plasma, right? Right? Or whatever it is we pick up from these suns. Fuel scooping. Okay, as this wraps up, I'm interested in finding that A-type star to round out our exploration of at least the stars in this system. I don't know if there are other planets I haven't spotted. Hard enough to spot the stars, much less the planet planets, but... Uh, yep. Uh, in theory, it should be close to the B-type. So... Pointing directly away from that for now. The B-type is over there. We've got an unidentified signal source, so I better shed away a little bit. Okay, so we see there 
the blue star uh, system. I think that must be the A type in white there. Though it might be just that planet. I can't imagine a planet would be that bright, but it could be. The B type sure doesn't seem bright itself. Hold on, let's. Uh, we can switch to the. Oh, those two planets, right. No, that doesn't seem to be. Nope, that's not what I'm pointing at. Okay, so maybe that little white dot is the A type star. Maybe. Either that, or we're gonna end up uh, close to the B type star again which is fine, and then we'll leave it at that for this episode. Uh, so the accomplishment in this episode was our first B-type star. I don't know how many other accomplishments we can uh, get, but I'll try to find something new next time. So uh, two episodes back we found our first uh, Earth-like planet, and then last episode we stopped at the Saturn-like planet. This time we got a B-type star. We'll say B9, maybe we should hit a lot of B-type stars. It'd be a good goal in order to uh, get ourselves ahead in this whole exploration thing. Let's see, since we've got a long trip ahead of us. Um, so we're at uh, 608 or so into the system. And... I have to see too many distinctions. Well, this is, this, this is a bright thing, but I can't see why it's bright. And it's just close to the camera. Is there a... Okay, we can pan like this. Maybe I should do that more. So this is like this. If I pan straight across in the direction we want to travel in. And there's just a lot of F-type stars being the best thing, I suppose. It's a G. That is an A. That is a... another A. Maybe a little bit lower. There's another A right there. Actually, that's a B-type star. You know what? Uh, why don't we stop at our second B-type star? Well, no, let's explore that separately. But I want to plot for it. Yeah, that'll be interesting. So we'll start off with another B-type star in the next episode. What's that one there? Of course, the next higher level is O-type. I'd really like to... That's really, really, really rare. I have to find an O-type anywhere. Very short-lived stars, O-types. Can we visit supernovas? I don't know, or supernova remnants, nebulae of some kind. Must be out there somewhere, right? Well, if I spot one, I definitely want to try for it, but I don't know, I mean, there are definitely nebula-like things, like uh, right in the center of my camera there, that's a nebula-like thing. Don't know how to get to it, though. It's possible with an advanced scanner I'd be finding a lot of stuff, I mean, don't know if there are comets or anything like that around. Not really essential comets, but uh, interesting. Hard to find without an advanced scanner. They wouldn't be so close to the star unless it's unless they're gonna die or something. Okay, looks like we're getting close now. Oh, about time. She looks awful big to me. Okay, so we've discovered all the stars in this system, and I think there's a good place to leave it with a, a B, A, F, N, K star system. Quite a combination. And in the next episode, I'll start off with heading to that B, other B, uh, B star system, and then proceeding from there. We covered about uh, 100 light years in this episode, but... But it's what we discovered that made it all worthwhile. So we will proceed further 
next time. Alright, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.